What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are on day number 17 of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, today I'm making something in, uh, I would say, a helpful hint um, or using my teacher, uh, my master teacher, Corey Dizan. I'm going to have his YouTube channel posted in the description below. Um, this is the gentleman who taught me how to use Inventor along with uh, another master teacher, uh, but his channel is super awesome in building things in Inventor. I just now took a page out of his book and we're just making super awesome things in Fusion. So with that being said, what you got in front of you is um, a red vine. So uh, Corey Duzan had this wonderful idea of making candy in the classroom and I'm going to kind of just take a page out of his book there. He sent this to me uh, on Twitter and saying, hey, make this thing. And I, lo and behold, I was able to make it. So because of that, I'm gonna steal it, Corey. So what we got here is we have a uh, red vine, which is essentially uh, a couple of circles all rotated about each other. Each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one circle over the other, and um, and then I'm gonna use my circular pattern here. Now I've already done a video over the things I've done so far. If you need to go back, you can go look at those videos. But I'm just going to use circular pattern and uh, trim all of this up. Now, one good thing is the trim has a preview. It shows me what my, I'm about to trim. So it highlights in purple. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch. Now, what I'm going to do next is since I'm going to use a sweep for this, I need to also uh, draw my line, which is about my sweep. So how long my red vine is going to be. Now I'm going to make this a ridiculously long red vine. Let's make it a two meter long red vine. I know it's not quite to, to scale, uh, but it is something allowing us to play with in uh, Fusion today. So I'm going to go ahead and click sweep. I'm going to sweep that profile down this path. Now a really cool thing in, in Fusion is it allows you to twist a sweep now. So I'm going to go ahead and twist it uh, 200 degrees, um, I think feels about right. Then I'm going to click OK. Now uh, as far as hollowing it out, I found it best to try to hollow it out after I've already done the sweep. Something about trying to do a sweep with a hollow body, um, Fusion just wasn't working with me quite well, so I used this to figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a simple circle to an extrusion all the way through and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is a completely new thing we've never done before and that is project geometry. So right now there is nothing on this sketch. There is nothing there. So what I'm going to do is project the geometry of the end of my red vine right now. So down here under project, not project, but project we're going to highlight and click on where it clicks on the whole face of the end of my red vine and then click OK. Your projected geometry shows up to be purple, which is OK. Um, it's just telling us that my geometry came from somewhere else. So now what I'm going to do is do an offset plane here. And I'm going to do an offset plane from the end of my red vine. That looks about okay. Now what I'm also going to do is new sketch on the end of this and the end of my red vine kind of has a crimped end. Now make sure when you're doing this part that you're doing it wide enough. I was running some problems with my lofts um, if your end crimp piece isn't wide enough. So I'm going to loft it. We're going to loft the very end of that new projected sketch I did to this rectangle and then click OK. Wonderful, we just crimped that one end. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to use Project Geometry again. So I'm going to do Create, or sorry, uh, Design. We're going to do New Sketch, and I'm going to project that geometry again. So Project, and then click on that whole face, and then click Done. And then I'm going to do another offset plane from that sketch and then the last piece is I'm going to actually do when I click on making this sketch I'm not going to draw another rectangle I'm going to use project geometry again 
So there's a really cool thing when you use project geometry. It allows you to have some really quick shortcuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient. So I'm still in that sketch on that plane. If I click on the face, you can see that my geometry is going to project to that sketch. And so we could, in a sense, not have to redimension any any of my other pieces because I'm only projecting geometry to that sketch. It's really helpful um, because I don't have to do any dimensions. I'm worrying about that. I know that my pieces are going to be mirrors of one another. Click OK, and there we go. We have made a very fat and short red vine today. I'm just going to go highlight it all. Hit A for appearance. And let's do red. So red vines are red. And how would that look? That looks wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this video. We worked on project geometry and a, a twist in the sweep function. All right, guys, good luck with this. You can try and make it on your own. Let me know if you need anything. See you in the next video.